a few new dentists want to pursue pharmacovigilance after BDS. So we have created a video in which we discuss what is pharmacovigilance, the scope, the job opportunities and how to start a career in it. If you are interested, do stay tuned. Hi, I'm Dr. Satish Kumar and this is Kaizen Dental. Our aim here is to help dentists succeed. Before we begin, I would like to remind you that this video is a part of series of videos we are coming up with about the non-clinical options after BDS. So if you are interested, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Most importantly, click the bell icon after you do that so that whenever we post a video, you will be informed about it. Now, moving on to what is pharmacovigilance. Pharmacovigilance is a small niche which comes in between drug safety and clinical research. We all are aware when a pharmaceutical company has to release a pharmaceutical product or drug into the market, they have to go through a lot of research. That is, first they have to do in vitro studies that is outside organisms. Then they need to do studies on animals followed by on specific individuals. Then they need to do randomized control trials. But what happens when this drug is released into the market? There are different type of individuals who tend to consume them. Some would have underlying diseases like diabetes or blood pressure or thyroid related problems. Certain specific set of patients like pregnant women or immune deficient people might also consume them. This might lead to adverse drug reactions. This is where pharmacovigilance comes into play. Pharmacovigilance creates an advanced signal detecting system through which they are able to obtain such cases which occur throughout the country and throughout the globe. These cases are collected, collated analyzed and turned into insight. These are then transferred to regulatory authorities and the pharmaceutical companies which can utilize this information. Now what is the scope? Pharmaceutical regulators throughout the world like US FDA, DCGI in India, EMEA in Europe have become more stricter about the rules and regulations of creating pharmaceutical products. Hence more job opportunities in pharmacovigilance throughout the world. India currently is the fourth largest drug producer. India also has 6,000 licensed drug manufacturers and a 1.3 billion population. So the cases obtained are higher and the requirement of pharmacovigilance is more important out here. Now, how do you start a career in pharmacovigilance? That is by doing a course, either a certificate course, which would take a duration of four months or doing a postgraduate diploma course, which would last for a duration of a year. The certificate course would cost you somewhere between 50,000 to 85,000. Whereas the postgraduate diploma course would cost you 1.2 to 1.5 lakhs. The postgraduate diploma course is currently being offered by the Institute of Clinical Research of India. Before we move on to the job options, do not forget to follow us on Instagram because we post exclusive content there as well. Next and most important, where are the jobs? You can get jobs in pharmaceutical companies, biotech companies, clinical research organizations. Then the regulators themselves require pharmacovigilant officers. Other than that, there are opportunities in KPOs. What are KPOs? Knowledge Process Outsourcing. Basically data is got from countries abroad, which is then analyzed and collated in India and other countries and then sent back. Companies such as Accenture and TCS are into it right now. Then there are also medical colleges or hospital wings, which at times might have a foreign pharmacovigilance department. If you like this video, do not forget to hit the like button below. I hope you are subscribed to our channel. 
I'm Dr. Satish Kumar. This is Kaizen Dental. Our aim here is to help dentists succeed.